Hi everyone, my name is Anvita Bansal and we are back with another lecture based on strings. So the question for today is uncommon characters. So let me just show you the problem statement. So you are given two strings A and B all consisting of lowercase characters. Find the characters that are not common in the two strings. So I'll explain you what we need to do. Let me just... <coughs> okay. So the question is actually very simple. The reason I took up this question is because I wanted to discuss another concept of solving this problem. <coughs> I'm not too well today, so just bear with my voice. Okay. So very simple approach is that you go at each and every character of A and B. Give me a second. <coughs> <coughs> I'll see if I can teach you guys today. Okay. <coughs> I don't think so. Let's cancel the class. <coughs> see so you are given two strings okay each character one approach can be that you go through each and every character if let's say you are iterating over this string and see G if G is present in B well and good you do this thing for each character in A and compare it with all the characters in B then you do the same thing for each character in B that is G is it present in A or not you traverse over the entire string the entire other string if you are comparing it for the character in, in the other string so these things you do for both the strings so that will take you big o of length of a into length of b <coughs> okay what can we possibly do better so the other approach that you can use here is using hash map right so i hope you can see my screen let me check yeah so what can be one brute force approach i already discussed brute force that is you check for each character each character in both the in a compare if it is compare check if it is present in b check if it is in b do the same thing for and vice versa right okay this is your brute force approach the efficient approach can be you use a hash map you use a hash map of characters you make a frequency array right frequency map let's say you have a letter geeks and other you have a word geeks other one is geeks for okay so you will be compare you will be inserting all the characters in your map and their frequency all the distant characters and their frequency right <coughs> compare it with the other map you maintain two maps here or with one map also you can do now you iterate over this string check if g is present in string one yes 
for that you also need to know <coughs> what is the count of g you encountered g only once so what you can do is its count either you reduce it to one that you wanted only once now either you can do this way or you can maintain two maps other map will also have all the characters of the second string g e twice <coughs> k1 s1 f1 or1 now you compare all the entry sets of map 1 with, with map 2 if the two maps are different that means you will return what <coughs> return the letters which are different that is you have to return a string of those characters which is either present in one string and not present in see what you need to return is you need to return list and a string of characters <coughs> which are not common in both which means either it is present in a or it is not present in b or the second case can be it is present in a b but not present in a correct now what i am going to discuss today so this is the approach i am very sure you all can do because we have solved a lot of questions based on hash map in strings so i will not be taking up this approach what i want to take up here is that for you to have ease of understanding zor operation i will be using this zor operation that the, that is the reason i took up this question this question is easy also and you will understand the application of using this zor operation also so it zor is a bitwise operator which is represented like this so if you see zor's table it will <coughs> be something like this so what it the operands are of type let's say are of type integer although it's bit right 0 bit 1 bit so if you have 0 whenever you have 0 0 or 1 1 <coughs> the result of this will be what 0 right using this property only we will be solving this problem if the inputs are different the bits are different the result of zor operation is 1 zor of a and b right let's say this is a and let's say this is b now how we will use this property so i showed you that if the inputs are same either it's 0 0 or it is 1 1 it will zor operation is going to return you 0 if the inputs are different one of them is 1 other one is 0 then it will return you 1 so let's do one thing let's create a hash map okay <coughs> of type integer because we are dealing with bits here right it is not of any character type 0 and 1 are of type integer so i create a map map 1 let's say another map map 2 let's say of size 26 okay <coughs> 26 corresponds to all the characters from a to z correct now you iterate over string a which is let's say gates okay now you want to insert <coughs> so this map 1 will be something like this that zeroth character is representing letter a first character z in terms of indexing if i do it will go like this that one character will be representing b <coughs> third character will be repre representing c and so on and so forth. correct okay so i iterate over my string one and this is my map one so this string one wherever g's position would be it should ideally put one in that position wherever e is it should put one in that position wherever k is I take k it should put one in that position and wherever it has one s <coughs> it should put one in that position so this is how your map one will look like after inserting one against all the characters that are found in a and how will you deal with it so while you are iterating you can do like this that you insert map one let's say map one of i will be equal to what s dot char at i whatever the string is at that time which is a here a dot caret i how do we deal with characters when we want to insert this integer value or not insert when we want to deal with character in, uh, characters in terms of integer we do minus of this sky value of a so this will return you whatever character it is in terms of index whatever it will be position that position will be treated like this okay <coughs> and your map of not i map of this value this will give you index i hope you are understanding so this will give you index which means if say first character is g so g is ascii value minus a is ascii value 
this will give you what this will give you <coughs> an integer which will actually represent the index correct it will represent the index in map one so <coughs> whatever g's position is it will be inserted with one <coughs> right the same thing i will do for other string which is string b and map two will be inserted now what i'm going to do i will iterate over both the maps map one and map two <coughs> map 2 will have ones in all those places where on all the places whose characters belong to string b it will rest of them will be zero now you compare each character each index 0 1 2 it will be till 26 so map 1's 0th index compare with 0th index of map 2 <coughs> both will be 0 0 a because it re represents a right first character first index represents b so first one is 0 0 0 zor with 0 will give you what whenever it's 0 0 or it is 1 1 it will give you 0 only <clears throat> so and if let's say it is for example e right not e let's take f f is present in second string okay that is 1 f is 1 in second string but not in first string so zor whenever we will be doing at f index whatever f index would be so it will be what five or six six i think i think so f is represented by sixth index or fifth index no we are doing from zero so it will be a fifth index right zero one two three four this is a b c d e a b c d e so it will be a fourth index and f obviously will be fifth index correct okay so what happens is when map one of this map one of i when i do its zor with map two of i <coughs> so that time it will see what what is the value at i so let's say if it is zero and map two is one which means that it is not present in your first string but it is present in your second string and if i do its zor it will give me one so this clearly will tell me whenever your zor is equal to one whenever your zor is one that means it is either present in one of the strings but not in other string that clearly means this okay using the help of this property of zor i will collect this whatever character it is this character is what this character is is your i plus a that is and convert it to char that's how you will be dealing it in terms of character whatever your i is 5 and when you add the sky value of a okay it will give you a sky value of f and that f needs to be converted back to its character form so i'm using char here and this f will be appended to appended to the final string that you want to return so what you will be returning is you will return the string of all the characters which are making that difference so f will be added to this character and that's all that you will be doing in this entire question now what is the time complexity of this question we are creating two maps space will be taken 26 26 constant space is taken two maps of space 26 correct so o of n is the space complexity where n is equal to <coughs> twice of 26 right 132 okay and what else <clears throat> what else is coming on to the time complexity so we are iterating over one string inserting its element into the map one same we are doing with the other two then we are using the third loop which is comparing the two maps okay so o of n1 plus o of n2 plus o of 26 so big o of length of character string one n1 big o of n2 and 26 let's if say if we want to ignore we can that's of constant space but yeah this is your time complexity so i hope you have understood this problem let me check if you guys are still seeing me or not okay let's move and solve this problem. <coughs> so the intent i already told you behind this problem was you to make aware of zor operations otherwise this question can be easily done using two hash maps okay so now i'm taking int map one <coughs> new int 26 other one int map to new 26 okay fine now you iterate over first string int i equal to 0 i is less than a dot length 
I will press plus. So map one of what is the index a dot care at i minus sky value of a should be the index that should be filled with one right because i found that character so that character's corresponding index should be filled with one and same thing i will do for string b in map 2 right <clears throat> this is 2 and i have filled it with one now you compare the two maps that you have filled with okay now let's take string str this is the string that i want to return now you are iterating over the map so map is of how much length you all know it's 26 and i plus plus so do the zor operation of map on map 1 and map 2 if and we have to check if map 1 one more if map 1 or operation with map 2 correct that is equal to what what we want whenever they are 0 or 1 that is it is present in one string but not in other string so it should be returning you 1 right that's what we want so if it is equal to 1 so you will append that character to your string so str plus equal to the character would be char and what is that index representing that i and you add the sky value of a because when you were inserting you were subtracting sky value of a from that character and you were inserting at that corresponding index here you will be doing it like this and it will be appended to your string now you come out of the loop if you will ask your str final string is an empty string then you have to return minus one but it the output is of type empty uh, string only so i'm returning it in double quotes otherwise you return str okay let's check <coughs> map one of map one of i which character we are at that particular character we are doing zor now we cannot do zor on an entire map you can do zor on two bits only and that is of type integer that is why that's all I hope you got this problem. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the chat. So that is that is all about this problem, everyone. I hope you got this problem. So let's wrap it up then. See you all in the next lecture. Thank you.